Hello guys and welcome back to another video. So today we have my sticky keyboard which I accidentally spilt LucasAid on. So I'm actually going to run this under cold water today and you'll see at the end of the video if it actually works or not. So I've actually tried to use a hairdryer, it just makes the switches a lot more sticky than they actually are so that's out the window. There's actually quite a lot of screws in this keyboard, but there's two hidden ones, one being behind that, which you actually have to remove with a hairdryer, just like heat it up and then just get like a knife under it just so you don't remove it, but I've damaged mine a little bit. And there's another one just to the right of the volume rocker, hidden underneath the little side. If you just get the screwdriver underneath the right side, just gently pry it off, it should come off. So now that's removed, you can actually see how sticky and like how dirty the keyboard is. So the LucasAid I actually spilt was no ordinary LucasAid. I was actually using it for an ashtray at the time. So that's why there's bits of backy and it's all sticky and everything inside it. Okay, so just a quick disclaimer, I would not do this at home, I don't recommend it. Do it only if you want to do it and you want to destroy your keyboard and you have no last result. But I don't recommend you do this either way, don't try this at home. So in between now and the next clip you see is actually a 24 hour gap. So I took it out of the airing cupboard the next morning after it being dry and it was still pretty sticky. So I ran it under the cold tap the next morning and put it in the airing cupboard. So I just ran the hair dry on it, making sure it was all dry. So I'm just hoping that it was dry when I put it back together. But there was a, uh, a big thing about running water over a keyboard. So if it's soft water, you can it corrodes the keyboard or something. Hard water, it doesn't. I don't know. I've read up quite a bit about it. I live in London. The water's quite hard. So I'm hoping the keyboard hasn't corroded. Fingers crossed. I'll check in a couple of days' time, probably. If you're wondering what I'm doing here, I'm actually putting two bits of blue things down because I actually lost the rubber bit that connects that makes the connection a bit better so I thought I would just make my own little custom one 
So all I've got to do is just put the screws back in, plug it in just to make sure it works. Put the rest of the screws in, put the keys in, and hopefully we'll see. And the keyboard actually works, thank God. So this is the only time I'll actually see this color ever again because I don't know why it just doesn't seem to want to work. Maybe it's the blue plastic things put in. Maybe they're not sitting right in there. I'll take it apart anyway in a couple of weeks or a couple of days time just to see if it's corroded or not. But there is actually um, a couple of switches that don't work, which these ones do up here. Um, the lock keyboard for when you're gaming, that still works. All the caps lock, num lock and the rest of that uh, works the scroller that doesn't work the mute button doesn't work all the mute keys don't work so that's quite disappointing I might have to check into it the USB pass-through still works so so thank God for that but I wouldn't recommend doing this at home anyway it is quite this is the first time I've actually taken a keyboard apart um, if you ain't got any experience with taking anything apart I wouldn't recommend doing it or if you are gonna do it just make sure you do your homework and look into it properly so if you have enjoyed the video guys a like rating would be a nice and don't forget to subscribe to see more content like this maybe in the uh, future but it would be nice to see a little bit something different every now and again so don't forget to comment down in the comment section let me know what you think and i'll catch you in my next video thanks for watching guys peace out